Hello everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. Today we are going to be explaining how CAT scanners actually work. Now, most of us are really familiar with X-ray imaging and this is quite a quick and cheap way to examine the internal structures of a patient. However, what we're going to be looking at today is a CAT scanner. Now, how does a CAT scanner work? In this drawing that I have over here, I've drawn some of the main components. The first one is an X-ray tube, which, as it says on the tin, it produces X-rays. Notice that quite a typical exam question is to provide the structure of an X-ray tube, and I have a separate video about this. So if you're interested in this, have a look at my medical physics playlist, and also I'm going to put a link into the description. But the X-ray tube produces X-rays. In particular, it produces a thin fan-shaped beam of x-rays. This goes through the patient and for instance this over here right over here have the cross-sectional area of a patient. When the x-rays go through this they are absorbed by different amounts by the different tissues. For instance bone might absorb uh, will absorb x-rays differently compared to soft tissue. Most of the uh, x-rays are going to pass through soft tissue and most of the x-rays are going to be absorbed by the, uh, by the bones. The intensity of the x-rays after they have passed through the patient are going to be detected in this detector and uh, this will allow us to take essentially an image of a slice of the patient of the cross-sectional area. The x-ray tube will be rotating along the patient. Now what will happen then is that the patient will be moved along the uh, along the length of the CAT scan. So in this case this will be the direction that is coming out of the board for instance. Now let's summarize this. So, as we said, an X-ray tube will be rotating around the patient and, uh, of course, we're going to be using a thin fan-shaped beam of X-rays. The X-rays are absorbed differently by different tissues and the intensity of the X-rays are detected or recorded by the detector. This allows, essentially, for a slice, for an image of the slice of the patient or the cross-sectional area to be taken. In medical physics, we quite often uh, use the term slice. Uh, this actually is linked with Latin. You might have heard of tomography, which is made up of two Greek words. For instance, tomos is actually meaning slice and um, graphene, I think, to, uh, to, to record in Greek. Anyways, back to physics. So images of the slices of the patient are taken. Now the x-ray will then move along the patient. So this will be in the direction, let's say, either out or into the board over here. So you have to imagine this in 3D. Now this allows the computer software to produce a 3D image from this data, which is one of the main advantages of a CAT scan compared to an x-ray. And I've summarized some of the advantages and disadvantages of CAT scans compared to X-rays. Well, as we said, CAT scans can be used to produce a 3D image, which is a major advantage. In addition, they can distinguish better between different types of soft tissue, which is extremely hard or almost impossible in X-ray scans. However, on the other hand, an X-ray scan is quick quicker and it's considerably cheaper compared to a cat scan as well x-rays can be harmful and some cat scans can be very much prolonged the patient will also have to still sit still uh, incredibly still for a lot longer if a cat scan is being taken Okay, folks, well, this was just a quick video going through some of the basics of the CAT scan. Hopefully this makes sense. If there are any questions, let me know. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.